Hi everyone, today I have something really special to show you. So this is the Circle of Life Tarot, which is currently not out yet. So I have the honour of showing you this particular tarot deck, which is so exciting. So um, a company recently reached out to me, and um, I believe they're called Lowellin. Lowen in worldwide and um, they asked me if I wanted to try some of the new products that are going to be launching in 2020. So we have this particular deck which is called Circle of Life Tarot and it is actually made by the company Low Scarabio which makes them incredible tarot cards. I actually have so many of them which I actually bought with my own money. I'm not sponsored to talk about this, I was not paid, I was only sent the product to essentially just you know use it in my videos and to do readings for many of you. So I wasn't um, in any way, shape or form sponsored um, or paid to say anything that I am going to say. I'm going to show you the cards and give you my honest opinion on them as I usually always do. But um, the, this company that has actually made this particular deck, or the publisher should I say, they make this deck. This was one of the first decks I ever bought with my own money and it is the Golden Universal deck. Everyone is Honestly, every time I pull this out on my channel or I use it for readings, I always get so many questions because they are so beautiful, they are so golden, and they are just absolutely gorgeous. So this is the same company that has made that deck. They've also made so many other ones. I mean, I've got so many of their um, decks, which I've actually purchased myself. So when I got this, I was like, oh my gosh, wow. And um, they are circle tarot cards. So we are going to open this up. And the other thing is, is that I love how they have lots of different languages on here as well. And I'm sure they do in their information book because they always usually do. So this actually retails for $29.95 US dollars. And also on the back, you've got the examples of the cards as well, which is really great. The packaging is so cute. It's a circle box very very nice and purple and so this is what it looks like so um, it comes much more I'm sure neatly packaged than mine were because I recently just opened mine and then I put the cards back in so this is what it comes looking like and um, it kind of reminds me of a mandala it's just really beautiful it's got these gorgeous rainbow colors and the artist is the artwork is by Maria De Stefano really hope I pronounced that right, probably butchered it, but these are 78 tarot cards in a round shape. So I'm glad that they <laughs> explained that. And yeah, so we are going to have a look. So it's called Circle of Life Tarot. Okay, so we have the cards. They're actually pretty big sized cards. I mean, my hands are actually quite small, but they are, you know, a, a pretty decent size. <laughs> they are not small in any way, shape or form. The inside is quite, um, I don't know if you can see it, maybe you can see it a little bit there. It's quite velvety and it has got this ribbon which is really great because you can pull the entire deck out as well as and when you need to rather than, you know, digging your hands in and not being able to or damaging the cards. So I think that's really, really great. And you also have a book in there as well. So the book itself is really nice quality. Usually Low Scarabio, I'm probably butchering their names so badly, usually their books are paper booklets. Let's grab an example because I just did another review as well and <laughs> it's, it's actually a review on one of their other products which I also bought with my own money as well. So this is um, After Tarot and it's made by them as well. The majority of the decks actually that I do own by them, they all came with paper booklets and so it's nice to be able to see a bit of a sort of a step up where it's not just um, a carton box with the paper booklet. I don't have anything against these booklets but it's just really interesting and so nice to be able to see there's something really different that they have done. So usually they print paper booklets with pretty much everything and then they have it in different languages. So I'm actually really excited to see that there's something different that they have done. So this one here, it's, it's got, you know, quite a glossy, everything is very, very glossy. It's also in colour, which again is quite different. And then of course they've got all the different languages as well that they have everything written in. So for these particular cards, what we do have is that it explains the deck. So I'm just going to read a little bit about the deck so that you also are able to understand um, you know, a little bit more about it. I love that they have the artwork on here as well. And it says here, the Circle of Life Tarot is a round deck of cards. Circles themselves are important circle, um, 
<laughs> circles themselves are important circles. So, no, that's not what it says. Circles themselves are important symbols. They represent cycles, a completed series of events. So our Earth revolves around the sun with four seasons and one complete rotation creates a whole cycle. So our lives also contain cycles as well. We are born, we grow and we learn. We make our own way and then we die. So tarot also contains cycles with the major arcana describing the fool's journey from creation to union with with the world. So um, that's essentially what it is saying. It goes a little bit more into circles and also how they have a lot of symbolism as well and how they're very sacred. So that is essentially why they are circles. It also gives a brief introduction to tarot as well. So you know, that's really great because it does say here, you know, there's 78 cards and they're broken down into major arcanas and minor arcanas. And again, I think that's really great actually for beginners as well. So it even says here what all the cards mean. So it goes through all of the cards. So for example, it starts with the major arcanas and then it gets into all of the major arcanas. And then we move into all of the suits. So then it goes into um, the swords and then it goes through the ace, you know, the two of swords, three of swords, etc, etc. And then it then goes into, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, so it also goes for the spreads as well. Yep, so. It goes into the different languages and then for the spread, which I think is at the back, so the spread that they essentially tell you is a pretty good way of doing things is doing um, each of the months. So there's 12, well at least I think that's how they explained it because I read it so quickly. Um, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so you can do a monthly theme spread. So you have a circle with 12 of the cards going around, so one for each of the months. And then it also has another example here as well, which has 24. So it gives you an example of spread. So I think this is, you know, really, really lovely because it's different. It's so, so, so different. And I love that they have done something so different. That's that's something that I, I really like. So let's get on to the cards themselves. So these are, well, I'm just going to round it up, 30 US dollars, right? That's <laughs> pretty pricey for a deck, but I will say the quality is on point. You know, a lot of decks are pretty expensive. This one is unique, this one's different. I mean, I don't have any round shaped tarot cards. The book is also very, very informative, very, in has a lot of information. And the illustrations, wow, look at that, it's a chariot. That is exceptionally different in terms of illustrations to anything that I have. That is beautiful. I just feel like it's very well thought through and it's very unique. Like, look at that, for example, that's the Four of Swords. Wow. Oh my gosh. So let's um, go through this. Now, I will say, in terms of shuffling, I actually don't think it would be too bad because they are circles. I do have heart-shaped tarot cards. Oh my god, they're not tarot cards. Heart-shaped oracle cards. Let me show you those. And they are not fun to shuffle. I will, I will just mention that. They are extremely difficult to shuffle because they, they do move around quite a lot so you know even doing something like that it, it is quite difficult to keep them in place um so heart shapes are are difficult but i do love those cards they're the lovers oracle cards but i think round is it's pretty easy for the most part to shuffle because it is all just circular so i wouldn't say that that is a problem that's something actually i can deal with now i just mixed up all the cards but it's fine i'm going to show you these Cards. So we have here, now I will be honest, okay, if I mess up what these cards are, it's because I'm still trying to learn them because the illustrations are quite different. So I'm going to show you the cards. So I believe that this is the devil card, okay. We've got the tower, star card, the moon. I believe this is judgment. Ace of Cups. I have a feeling that 
yeah, I'm going to have to learn some of these as well because the thing is, I don't really, <laughs> I know this is going to sound really bad, but I don't really look at um, the numbers that often. So it is going to be something that I'm going to have to learn. I mean, this is me literally just, you know, unboxing it. I mean, I did show it in another video as well where I did do an unboxing, but I very briefly looked at the illustrations. So again, I am going through a process of learning these cards. So I will have to mention that. Um, it's not as simple as, you know, the other variations where it's very, very easy to tell, okay, this is the Ace of Cups, this is the Four of Swords. You know, the illustrations are quite different in this particular one. So it will take me a bit of time, but we do have the Two of Cups. We have here, I believe, the Three of Cups, we have the Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, and then I believe this is the Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. I have a feeling this is the Strength card, and this is perhaps either the Wheel of Fortune or the World card. Okay, but I'm just going to place them down. Okay, so these are the pentacles. Um, what's really nice is that they do have the suits at the bottom of them. Okay, so we're now onto the pentacles, but I did shuffle the cards, so they are going to be a bit jumbled up. Okay, so these are all the pentacles. And of course, the major arcanas would just have the Roman numerals on top. So we're back onto the cups. Okay, we've got the wands. Six of wands, seven of wands, eight of wands, nine of wands. We have the ones. Swords. Four of swords, five of swords. Six of swords. The interpretation I think is really unique. Um, it's definitely something that I think is very, very different. And again, I really like that. I love the fact that they put out things that are different. And it's not always just the same, same, repeat, repeat. I love the fact that they've done a different shape. I love the fact that the illustrations are different. I love the fact that it really does represent sort of like a circle, like a circle of life. And I think that that, again, is so, so unique. So I love this. I really, really do. So that's what we have there. So we've got more swords. back onto the pentacles, ten of pentacles right there, ten of wands. This is mainly a first impression, that's essentially what this is, but, ooh, look, it's a chariot again. Got the major arcanas, hermit. Okay, maybe this is a strength card. I have a feeling this is the strength card actually. Hanged man. Temperance. We've got another sword card. Pentacle card. Or pentacles. Fool. Magician. Actually, this is the High Priestess because the High Priestess follows the, um, <laughs> the High Priestess is, um, the one that follows the Magician. Okay, so there we go. Knight of Swords. So I do apologise if I was a little bit all over the place with these cards. But I do need to learn them, that is the thing, and that is something that I always strive to do after I get a 
deck of cards, get deck, oh, can't even speak, after I get a deck of cards just to make sure that I can really understand the illustrations, I look very closely at the illustrations, I try and analyse, you know, any little symbolism or any other things that I can find in the cards, I meditate with all of the cards and then once I feel like I really understand all the cards then I'll start to use them in readings, but um, as you can tell, you know, when illustrations are very, very different, it can be a little bit more of a challenge to understand which cards are which. So this is more for like a first impression. I, I literally just received these cards. I did one video where I literally just picked up a couple of cards from the top and showed them, but that was it. This is a full in-depth review. We also have a card here, which also just um, is sort of more like a top card that kind of goes on top. But um, yeah, so this is the Circle of Life Tarot, I think it is brilliant. I definitely think that it is something that is so unique and if you are someone that wants something quite unique, something quite different, this is totally an incredible one to, to purchase. I mean, I know it's a little bit more pricey, but I think it's worth it considering just how unique and how different it is. It's not like your standard traditional you know, tarot cards whatsoever. It is very different and I think it is just, it's, it's kind of like a wow as well, especially with the back of the cards as well. It really is very very different so this is my review I would give this a huge thumbs up I think that this this publisher this company is just absolutely killing it with their REM um, cards I have so many of them in my drawer I mean I have Golden Universal I have the um, Golden Art Nouveau Tarot I have the After Tarot and these are all ones that I bought with my own money I have the Tarot of New Vision, which I believe is made by them, which is this tiny little mini deck right here. I also have, dun, 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 I believe this is made by them, if I'm not mistaken, yep. I have the Tarot of Sexual Magic, which I also have right here. What else do I have? I have so many, you guys. It's, it's actually unreal how many of their cards I have. I also have the... Um, this is the other one that I have as well, which is Universal Tarot. Again, a little mini one. So I have so many of their card decks. I'm sure I have more in here. It's just I can't really remember 100%. There's, there's just so many I have in my drawer. So I love their cards. And the fact that I was sent this is just, it means so much to me because I have been a buyer of their products for, for some time now, you know? So... I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Highly recommend it. Um, so that is pretty much what I have there. Now I also want to mention as well that if you'd like to win a free reading with me, information for that will be in the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. Um, also if you would like to purchase a private paid reading with me, information for that is also down below as well and they're done within 24 to 48 hours. So if you are interested in any of that, they will. all that information will be in the description box below. Also, I do want to mention as well that if you would like to um, purchase any of my intention bracelets, which are on Etsy, they will be down there. I have love, twin flames, soulmate, career, finance, wealth. There's so many bracelets on there and it's amazing to see the reviews and to see how they have worked for so many people as I'm literally losing my voice. So um, do check those out. They start from three pounds of free international shipping. They are tie-on bracelets. You can shower in them, sleep in them. They're very, very durable. And um, they are meditated with, they are saged, and they start from just three pounds with free international shipping. So they are incredible. I absolutely love them so, so, so much. And it's amazing to see how they're working for so many people. So everything will be down there. I really hope that you um, enjoyed this particular um, review. I hope it gives a lot of clarity. I really also hope that it just helps some of you who are really interested in, you know, seeing what kind of new stuff is coming out as well to be able to see that. And uh, yeah, so let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I hope you have a lovely day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. And take care. Bye.